Do you have a video about the enclosure you made for your milling machine? I would like to make something similar for mine to stay cleaner. Hi Kyle, thanks for the good question. So, quick overview. This mill that I use is it's a CNC Supra. I've had it for probably 16 years. And the way these, for you guys that don't know, when you're cutting parts, aluminum, you want to keep cooling on it, flooding it, so it cuts clean and the, the part and the cutter stay cool. And the way these work is the coolant comes out of here and it's fed by a bilge pump back in the body down in here. You can't see how it's too dark, but so the coolant comes out of the head, drops down these pathways, down these hoses, and then it recirculates back up. And when you buy one of these, they don't come with this big tray around them to catch it all so you can recirculate it. So it gets really messy if you don't have one of these. And Kyle asked how more info, he wanted more info on this. So the way I made this, it's just eighth inch sheet. And you can see the table, the table's probably, I don't know what, nine inches wide. And the vise is clamped down to it. And then the sheet, I just bent, I drilled and tapped quarter inch screws here into the actual table and then bent this up at a 90 degree angle over and up. And this front face I drilled out so the vise screws come out. And a little bit of coolant will leak out of those if it floods up, if it floods up too high on the inside. So if that happens, when I was doing a lot of parts, mass production, I would put plumber's putty up around the bottom of this, pack it in so it didn't leak out. And then you can see back here in the corners, I just put these aluminum blocks and thread it in this way and this way to clamp them all in nice and tight. Get you as many views as I can here. And then to seal it all up, one second. And to seal it all up, I use this stuff. I've been really happy with this in a lot of applications, the right stuff. Just gob that down all the joints and packed it in. And this has lasted for that whole time, like 16 years, I said. It's never had a single leak on those joints. And then I was having to do some longer flat bar machining, so I put this little access hole in it so I could feed flat bar down through the whole thing. And the coolant never really gets that high if you keep it cleaned out. This is pretty filthy right now, but if you keep the, the, the drainage pathways cleaned out, it never gets up more than like, I don't know, half inch, inch. Okay, hopefully you guys found that helpful. Thanks for watching. If you wanna help support the channel, I don't know if you need any of this stuff, I got an Amazon link below, an affiliate link. And then if you wanna learn more about aluminum, TIG welding and fabrication, you can visit my website. Thanks for watching. And if you think you have a good question or video idea, let me know in the comments below.